So for this tutorial I used the um, as a canvas size I used the size of the background. So let's open our stock folder. This is the stock folder and in here you'll find all the images that you need for this. And I started with this image. I got it from unsplash.com like most of the images that I used. Uh, you can see it's really huge. I used 6000 by 4000 but uh, for this tutorial I'm going to make it a little smaller. I'm going to use uh, 3000 pixels uh, for the width. And I'm going to activate the, well, lock the proportions here. And I'm going to click OK. So this is going to be the size that I'm going to use for this uh, for this tutorial. Now the first thing I want to do is fix this part over here. You can do it really quick with a clone stamp or uh, let's do it with the clone stamp. It's uh, a lot easier. I'm going to do it really quick. So don't expect I'm going to make the perfect um, selections here. Um, you can take your time and do it um, a lot better and clean the image around here if you if you want to but I'm just gonna show you uh, what I did I'm not gonna do it perfectly for for the tutorial so um, as I said on this tutorial, I'm gonna focus more on how to create this background you can see it's pretty different and it has well I'm gonna show you how to get that dark tone and that bluish uh, color so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the adjustment. So it's not going to be like the previous tutorials where what I did was combining all the stock images and then make the adjustments. Uh, in this case, what I'm going to do is make the adjustments step by step as I add uh, the images. So um, and focusing more on the background. So I'm going to start with a hue saturation for this. I'm going to add a hue saturation and I'm going to drop the um, saturation to minus 23 and then I'm going to change the hue as well to minus 19 and this gives me this um, more of a dry effect and unsaturated effect and next I'm going to add uh, that part over here I wanted to have that a light here uh, this would help separate the model from the background and create more depth uh, on the image so Searching on unsplash.com, I found this other image. You can use others on unsplash.com, you'll find lots of them. And uh, I found this one, which I thought it works really well. So I'm going to paste it on top. And of course, I'll have to make it smaller. It's about that big, I think. I'm going to leave it just a little bigger, just in case I want to make it smaller uh, after that. Let me check the original so I can see more or less where that falls in here uh, anyways after I'm gonna I'm gonna create a layer mask and after we do that we can uh, make changes so create a layer mask and get the uh, gradient tool make sure you have um, black to white and I'm gonna create the linear gradient I'm gonna start from here and and right there but I'm gonna reverse this and you can see it fits almost perfectly um, I really like that. Uh, when I found it, I didn't, th uh, I didn't think that it, uh, it would work uh, that well. But you can see actually, it's really natural the transition here, which is really nice. Uh, not always uh, you find images that uh, blend that well and that easy uh, for manipulation, but in this case it does. So uh, let's name this forest. And this one, which I'm going to merge with the background, remember this is the fixed part here on the bottom. I'm going to merge both images. I'm going to name this one. Well, actually, I'm going to leave it to background. And now I have to make some adjustments to the forest. I'm going to add a levels adjustment. Um, you can see that it has really, well, it actually has no contrast. You can see that this shadow here is really washed out and I don't like that. So I created the levels adjustment. I'm going to clip it with Alt and click on the, between the two layers. And as I said, this is an intermediate or for some user, maybe a little advanced tutorial. So I'm going to skip parts uh, explaining how to clip layers and stuff like that. Uh, PSD Box Premium is for advanced users and intermediate users, not for beginners. And uh, that's why I'm going to skip some parts. But anyways, uh, let's. Uh, you can see here um, on the histogram, you can tell that there's actually no contrast on the image almost. Uh, so I'm going to give you the values that I have for this. So 26 for the shadows. And the shadows are this here on the right side, on the left side. 26, this increases, well, dark, darkens the shadows. One for the midtones, I'm, I didn't touch the midtones, and 225 for the highlights. 
and this is how it looks like. I think it looks better than this. Uh, now it integrates a lot better with the contrast of this image. So basically what you want to do is match the contrast of this image of the forest with the foreground. Uh, in this case, the background layer. Next, I'm going to add a solid color. And with the solid color, what I'm, what I'm doing is just create a base color, um, a starting uh, color. Um, I'm going to use a solid color because this affects the whole image and I can start going towards the color that I need. So I'm going to use a bluish tone and I'm going to give you the color code. The color code is 536E80. This really, well, not very saturated blue. And I'm going to set the blend mode to overlay. And you can see that already I start to get a darker tone. With, with the overlay, you increase the contrast even more. 